I have players come to me and say, I am doing all the running. How can this guy be standing still and I'm running all over the court? So we're going to look at some solutions as to how to position yourselves the best, understanding the geometry of the court so that you can be in control of the point. There are five steps I want you to think about. First, you want to get back in position to get ready for the next shot. Second, you want to know where to recover based on the angle you hit. Third, you want to know when you want to split step right before the opponent hits their shot. The fourth thing is, you want to gain time on the opponent by recovering maybe inside the court if you have control of the point, but on the other hand, if you need time and you're on the defensive, don't hesitate to back up a little bit. And lastly, adjust your shot selection based on where you have to recover. Ready position, and we're going there. So I want you to hit the ball. See, if you hit the ball to the red target, I want you to recover to the red spot. If you hit the ball to the blue target, I want you to recover to the blue spot. You've got it? Here we go, Stina. There. As she hits to red, she recovers to red. She hits to blue, she recovers to blue. Good job. There's beautiful backhand. And step into it. And she goes all the way back to red. Let's look at understanding the geometry of the court when you're coming to the net. It is important to follow the path of the ball depending on which side of the net the ball travels. Here's how it works. If you're at the net, the theory of angles is different. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually follow your shot. So if I approach to the back end, I'm going to follow my shot to this side of the net. Okay, if I approach to the forehand, I'm going to follow my shot to this side of the net. Okay, we've got this, so we're going to concentrate. Can you go ahead and be the one to come in? Can you go ahead and come in? on Renee's backhand, and I want you to go ahead and split step right before she hits, a little bit on this side of the center. Here we go. And finish. Beautiful angle, excellent defense with a hustle. All right, can you approach to the forehand this time, please? Approach to the forehand. Yes, and follow to the left, very nicely done. What a point. So the first thing you want to remember about keeping control of the point is you have to recover. You have to know when to recover, you have to get back in position by the time the opponent hits. Also, you want to know where to recover at the baseline based on the angle that you hit, and you also want to understand where to recover at the net based on the shot you hit.